you man. It's behind. Flying a bunch of people into the air at the moment. This is right at the start of the round. Don't usually do that much flying, but uh, occasionally at the start of the round, I might try and fly a bunch of people in, get some good points this way, and trying to get people into the air as quickly as possible. Gone pretty high to prevent me from being shot by RPGs and such. I'm not a particularly good pilot, so that's about the best way I can go about avoiding the RPGs. Dropping the people out of that high, at that kind of height though, does mean that the teammates will be a bit spread out, but they get the choice of going where they want to go that way, and they can parachute where they want to, rather than parachuting from so low they're limited on their choices. Still we've got a few people in the air, and we've got people in the priority area, so that's good. I'm actually having a look for vehicles coming into the AO right now, because right at the start of the round is a good time to get people coming into the AO, There's usually a few vehicles full of people. <laughs> Surprised to actually get the hit, um, only three people on board, but still, amazing kill that one, pretty happy with that. Can hear a car coming, come straight back to the RPG. Can also hear a heli as well now. Keep an eye out for the heli, there he is, wait till it gets a bit closer. But I can hear a car too, uh, the car's friendly, so keep an eye on this heli. Staying in the bush here to take visual cover from people in the central tower and any snipers, although it's still a bit early in the round for snipers to get into position by now, but you never know. Pretty lucky to just get a glimpse of him over the top of the building there. And yeah, start the round off with a bunch of kills with the achieved with the trusty moors. Another round here. Team's in second place, we're getting beaten by the independent team quite badly and I'm pretty keen to get into the priority area but I'm just waiting for a few friendlies to join me before I actually move into it. I'm just on the outskirts of it at the moment. Pretty easy shot for the ASP. Just got to get the zero in right with the ASP. Wasn't sure if that was a friendly or not for a second there. But yeah, you've got, just got to get the zero in right with the ASP. That's the what makes that gun difficult. Even if they're uh, 100 meters, you need to actually set your zero to 100 meters. Most, most guns, you wouldn't have to do that. If your target's one, two, 300 meters, the zero is basically the same. Just having a look at this car out here, it's a hunter that I actually drove up in, I can hear some people throwing grenades at it. I pulled up and ran away from it, and uh, just to see if there was any enemies would take fire at it, because I'm quite close to the priority area. Thank you. And I know we've got a dead friendly out here, I'm just having a look, but I can actually hear a car driving around, so... Stride a road killer, my friendly, just got to take him out. Got a few dead friendlies out there now though. But yeah, I'm definitely considering reviving that nearest one, um, but it's obviously a bit dodgy out there. There's definitely a lot of green team members out there. Just threw a grenade out in case uh, someone tries to rush this building after seeing an RPG being fired from it. I 
thinking about moving into the Parari area, just waiting for a few friendlies to come up and join me before I move into it any further. Spawns or despawns, I mean, I can't find my heli. Fuck up. Yeah, spamming the shots, not ideal way to fire that gun because you end up losing a lot of ammo, you've got pretty minimal ammo, ammo. but in Armour 3, especially in a busy game like you get in King of the Hill, you need to kind of spam the shots a bit to deal with the uh, lag and uh, the slow hit reg. Thank you, man. Could play a lot more cautiously and uh, try and use, uh, try and conserve my ammo, but that's not how I play, even with the ASP. Cleared all the enemies just around here. Let's just revive this guy and get back into the prior area. And uh, blue team have now taken control of the AO. Right, in this one I'm playing on independent. Fairly close on points to Op4 who are leading, but uh, we do not have control right now. Just come into the area of operations from the side of our spawn, of the green team spawn. So I'm just having a look around to make sure this area is clear. Help more friendlies get into the AO. Just noticed this heli flying around. Got a couple of rockets, so definitely worth taking a shot. But this other one's much closer. I'll go for him instead. <laughs> Always feels good to hit a helicopter with the moors. There's another one coming in. Mohawk. Potentially a lot of people on board, so I'm going to try and get it. But I think the rocket went underneath it. I think it was a little bit further than I, was, than I thought it was. That's my two rockets done, so ditch the moors. That's unnecessary weight to carry that launch around without any rockets. And here comes another helicopter. I'm trying to use the underbarrel 50 on my Type 115 to take it out. There we go, managed to get one guy. Not the pilot though, unfortunately. Oh, anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Take it easy.